Uh, introduce uh, Rohit. Rohit is uh, basically a wildlife photographer. Uh, the way in which he landed up in Bangalore then is in itself is a story, so I will let him uh, you know, tell you about it. So I belong to a very small place in Madhya Pradesh, it's called Balagat. I did seven when I could not join defense, I landed up in Bangalore. And that's because of my brother he he's in Air Force and he said, what are you doing at home, doing nothing, so I didn't move to Bangalore. I landed up here and I had a cultural shock because obviously, very small town, never spoken English before coming to Bangalore, had no idea what sales and marketing is, literally no idea. So, it's like an identity crisis which I went through when I came to in 97, without knowing local language and without knowing English. But that's how I started out. It was really tough. And slowly, I figured out that I want to do marketing. So, But I had no qualification to be in a marketing, so I joined the evening class. I started learning what marketing is. And uh, one of my clients gave me, gave me the opportunity to get into the marketing. So I had two offers, one from a very big brand, in sales and one unknown brand in marketing with lesser money. But I wanted to be in marketing because I figured out somewhere that I like doing marketing. So it was it was not about the course, what I have gone through as a phase to understand what marketing is. I started finding that as a passion to market. It's another thing that I got into the IT marketing. So I joined AMD, fortunately, as a channel marketing guy. From there I got into the consumer marketing. From there I got into the brand. I worked for that brand for four years. And in India, there's only one campaign of, say a brand campaign of AMB which has happened was when we signed up with Rishant and Anand as our, as our brand ambassador. That campaign gave me a lot of knowledge, a lot of learning, a lot of insights, how the brands look at creating the brand campaign. Brand campaign. From there I quit and I joined a company called Sanders. It is a very traditional, very orthodox, a company which doesn't like to take risk and I'm a risk taker. I like challenges. I can't just walk on a straight line. If I see another line, I would like to go and explore what is there on that direction. So Sanders happened and after one year I was totally bored and I decided to quit without having any job. I took a sabbatical. Six months, did nothing and started traveling. That's the first time I got a camera in my hand. Now, wildlife was very important to me because 2010, uh, when I was roaming around, this was one tiger which changed my life. There is a story. The story is that when you are looking at your passion, you look at giving a direction to your passion. For me, it's not a hobby. It's not about that when I get a time, I'll go and shoot some images and publish it somewhere. No, for me, it was that this has to do something beyond what I am doing and somewhere I felt that I have to do more than what I am doing. July 2010, that's when I decided to start off my own venture. If any venture to start off, which I have seen, this is my experience, you will always have the initial successes and you get carried on or you can just get carried away with those successes. 2014, I launched Nature in Focus as a festival. A nature and wildlife photography festival. Never happened in India, actually never happened in Asia, a festival like this. Where you get all possible nature and wildlife enthusiasts, photographers, international photographers, conservationists, naturalists, coming on one platform to see what people are doing it, what they have done it, learn from the mistakes, have interesting debate conversations. The festival took off. The first edition which I did, I had around 300 odd people attending the festival for two and a half days. I had amazing set of speakers coming and sharing their knowledge and experiences. In 2015, we launched the Photography Awards, which also took off. So this is one initiative which we took that we are able to provide platform to the to the community to come and showcase the work. Obviously, we had our criteria as how do we want to curate the content, what kind of speakers we want to have it. So journey started from 2015, uh, 2014. Today, Nature in Focus is one of the most interesting festivals which happens in India. In terms of the awards, this is the most prestigious award as of now existing. 2015, 
Uh, I got a call and saying that boss, you are taking initiatives on nature and wildlife. Would you mind coming and speaking in TEDx Bangalore? I'm a I'm a marketer. I'm a wildlife photographer. So the whole topic was wildlife needs marketing. <laughs> Opportunity to come and showcase and share my thoughts, what I believe, what I see happening. And the first thing which came in our mind when I was working on the tech is that we as human beings have beaten the theory of sustainability. The things comes to us easy and we don't value it. Value it. Talk about air, talk about water, talk about fuel, the basics. We do not value these basics. We abuse it. If we can walk, we will still take out our bike or a car. If the power is not required, the AC is always on or the bikes are always on. And the bigger thought came because every story has to have a punch. So for me the punch was half a flesh will save the tiger. And that became a thought. You need a punch in your story. This was a punch. It took off. So this is a talk which I delivered in TEDx Bangalore. 16 uh, starting, I started thinking that why shouldn't I create a platform wherein people can submit their stories, their content with beautiful images and the portal will run because of people. And the thoughts started becoming more clearer to me and uh, December 2016 we launched the portal. This platform never existed for nature and wildlife community as such. Portal has grown on its own completely organic. In the last five months we started, we were getting some hundred odd visitors on our site on a daily basis. The last one I saw, we were getting around 2000 visitors on our site. And it has grown. And another thing which we decided was that we are all about a positive impact. I don't want to go and talk at any point of time, anywhere, either as Nichiren Focus or as Rohit Varma, that we are done. I always say there is a hope. We can still change it. We can make the difference. It's all about the actions what we take. And it will happen. Simple belief is that if you do not appreciate uh, nature, you will not even attempt to know what nature is. And for sure you will not attempt to conserve the nature. So the impact of nature on our life has to be told because we don't have a top of the mind equal for nature. I wanted to do something by which I feel somewhere that I have done something before I die. I don't want to die like a normal person. I want to leave that mark. What is that mark? I still don't know. But one thing which I know that my passion has given me a direction. And I created Nature in Focus. I created Ashka because I love doing marketing. So wildlife is it's just not about uh, me going and shooting. I, so I made my passion as my work. I still believe that traditional way of marketing, the process will not change. Media has changed, formats have changed, but traditional way of doing a marketing will not change. Go back to your table and just start thinking on those pointers that why I am doing it, what I want to really do it, for whom are you doing it, how I want to do it, where I want to do it. If you have the answers for these five things, most of the time your marketing strategy is going to be right. If you get this right, we will get the communication right. Then you will get the formats right. You will get the mediums right. And the impact is going to be right. Thank you. Thank you.